I'm like, oh, okay. You're going to have to help me explain this thing because I, I, I want to know what, you, what caught your eye versus what caught my eye. Now, it's, uh, you can live stream. It's a $400 camera. Uh, more for just kind of consumers, right? Nope, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Uh, it's this little. It looks like it looks like the Amazon Echo of of video cameras, I guess. And uh, and it'll live stream, and you can do stuff with that. And I thought that I'm like, okay, you know, why? And it says it'll bring you multi camera polish in a pocket size package. I'm like, okay, whatever. Another thing that's going to stream. Yeah, why don't I just get a GoPro, right? Mm-hmm. Then I started looking through this. So the big thing is, one, it's, it's kind of cool. I kind of like the idea of this thing. You can put on a little tripod and stick in the corner on a performance or something like that. Then I started looking at the video and I saw it in action. Now, there's a point here, and let me see if I can get for you guys visually. So you're recording. And as you're recording, you can actually pull up a little, you know, pinch the zoom, whatever the case may be, to a square on, like, somebody's face or something. Is, am I seeing this right? Is it auto-making shots for you? Yes. Out of what it's getting on the camera? Yes. So it's taking a wide shot. So I take a wide shot of just a bunch of people on stage, say, or they're showing just people walking around in a fashion show in a room, basically. And it knows it's playing rule of thirds and saying, okay, these two people over here are a shot that you can square in. This person's, um, you know, uh, you know, upper body is a shot over here. Here's the wide thing. It's moving with the person and will follow it as if you're following on a tripod or something like that. And it's streaming and recording to your phone. And and is there? Oh, it's actually currently available for a one ninety nine pre order. At half price. Yeah, and I'm thinking I, I may actually pull the trigger on that one. That, that makes things more is interesting. It, is there any resolution as it as it goes in for that? Does it when it goes in closer? Is it getting pixelated? Is it, uh, you know, is because it's 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 the same image, right? Right. And right. It, Again, in the stats, it looks like it records at 4K. It records at 4K. So, so think of the the subsections of 1080P within the yeah, 4K that's, frame. That, so you already, <laughs> if it's if it's at least smaller than a quarter of the screen. It's, you know, you know, it's interesting. I've never seen that. So, that's so, amazing. And it's a, from, from one of the things that it was saying was it kind of gives you that ability to then go back and quick edit and say, I want this shot and then Wait, this shot and that pan, was, pan to this and then do this. That was the promise. I remember that was the first thing when we were uh, at my old job, we were upgrading to HD and we were we were still releasing things on DVD. So there was no need for HD. But one of the points of doing it in HD was we can recrop shots. We can crop mm-hmm. out. Because uh, in, in that case, there would because it was um, a safety environment, if there was something in the corner laying over there, um, I could crop it out and not have a problem with quality. Like, oh, somebody left that cord or, or a tripping hazard over here. Oh, we'll just crop that out. We're good. We have plenty of bandwidth in the image that, that we can throw this in, in there. It's kind of the same thing with 4K. That's why you want to shoot 4K these days because you'd be like, oh, I wish we were tighter on his face. You shoot an interview and you just do one shot of an interview and really cut in and out. And make it look like it was two cameras. Well, and where I'm thinking about it being used for is it, we don't do a lot of video at work today, but I could see if we had something like this to let you do it extremely quick and mm-hmm. easy. To have, and, and where I'm thinking about it is a panel discussion. So I have a long table with three people sitting there, right? Jeez. I can, can I can I just use this. I now? can quick. I can put this there, and then I can do a wide shot with all three people. Or I can, and when someone's talking and they talk for a prolonged period tap, of time, tap, 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 tap. And yeah, that's that's wow. where I really think for for two hundred bucks, yeah. it, it now it's it's worth it. Now, what about audio? Does it have any of the audio specs? Because a, a camera like that, if you have to have an external audio, you know, uh, uh, source, I mean, that causes some problems. Or is it just right. like a What's that audio like? Well, I think anything like that, if you're doing some pro audio, it looks like there's a speaker on the front of it. Um, I'm not seeing any specs specifically about audio, but I think you're 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 capturing from another source at that point. I would also want to know what it does in low light because mm-hmm. I because <laughs> you're not always going to have that perfect. Mm-hmm. Thing. I don't know. It's, it's just a really great concept. And so, does it give you four pieces of video, and then and then you can go back? And, no, no, and no. It, it actually there's a there's a point in the in the preview video they give you where you actually hit a thing to see what are all the shots. It actually shows you like six different options. So is it gonna like is it is it an automatic like ten burns or whatever it is where uh, where it just automatically kind of zooms in? Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it kind of uh, it, it looks like it'll pop into like you it, you're they're kind of again kind of pinching and zooming and, and and setting up the shot and then looks like then executing it. 
Well, one, I, I think it actually. I think it line. actually give you four pieces that you can go back and edit later. Mm-hmm. It'll get, no. From from my understanding, it gives you one piece, one mm-hmm. video that you can then use this this app mm-hmm. to then pinch and zoom in on and and splice things together as you want to. And I'm not clear: is it recording to the phone, to a stream, or to the device as you're doing this? I thought yeah. it was to the. Device. Now, it, now I saw that there's a connection in here that they are th- th- with a live stream. Uh, the, the company live stream. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and actually, wait, so this is actually from Movies the brand, live streams the company is right. from. Okay, I get that now. Um, okay, and, and so the, the, there's obviously going to be some build in there. So, I, I think after you make all your movements, I'm wondering if it's still capturing all that because they'd have to have some crazy. I love this comment in here because this is completely my life in a nutshell. No one wants to go home and edit for hours in Final Cut Pro. Right. But that's what I get paid to do. <laughs> uh, and certainly no one can afford to show up at an event with three cameras and a cameraman. Hey, can we uh, scale back one moment here and realize this is a $400 4K camera as well? Right. Yeah. Now, now, granted, when I say those, those numbers don't add up for you if you're a video professional. Um, remember, we had... Um, $150 Kodak HD cameras. Do we remember what the HD was like on them? Like the old 1080p? Yeah, the 1080p it ones. Kind of kind of janky, right? Yeah. Kind of kind of uh, uh, pixely and 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 not great and definitely not good in any light situation almost. Um, so so again, you, you talk about the low light situation, this is not going to be the best camera in general. I mean, this is going to get the job done. It's good. And and I I I think this is I think this is meant for your podcaster, your yeah. I'm trying to create a quick music video. I, I immediately hear people like I can hear all the guys who've ever shot a wedding. Like I can have three you know, different nah. shots. I can edit it <laughs> on the fly. I can give them a product at the end of the wedding. Like anyway. yeah, I don't think this is going to be that device. Well, and also, also I think it's a little more low. Also, end, I don't think people. I don't think I. I don't think people realize the heaviness of live um, editing. Yeah, a, sh- a show. Um, well, and you don't have, and I think part of the point of this though, is you don't, you, there's a couple different options from what I was seeing. You can live edit. You don't have to. Okay. You can go in after the fact, but I think their point is our user interface to edit that video after the fact is a lot easier to use than going back in for hours and hours and hours of final cut. I want to say, so this is, it will automatically detect faces and other points of interest. How is it determining a point? Sure like, that movement. chair looks interesting, <laughs> you know? I'm sure it's movement. Yeah, I think it's probably movement. You know, like, there's there's action over here, so we're going to center in on it. Like, I can't, I want to see, I want to see the movie fails on this. Like, why is this shot, when you pull up the six, when it's selected, all, like, six shots for you, like, like, what how many of them are on somebody's crotch for some reason you know or, or like why why is this knee <laughs> moving over here working going on anywhere in the room because because yeah, one of the yeah. yeah and that's one of the things they said in in one of the art of the other articles that i read was you're probably not going to want to use the automatically generated version of the video not in the end no but you can you can go see what it put together for you and then you can start off with that and then go back in and edit. From and that there. could be a good learning. Play. It's kind of that's kind of how I you know what? It's kind of exactly how I do graphic design these days. And we'll get to that in a moment, actually, <laughs> uh, my new my new post addiction. So um, but no, it's the movie. Oh, I lost the name of it already. <laughs> uh, it's just the movie. It's the movie yep. camera. And uh, it's uh, three ninety nine. You can get it for uh, one ninety nine pre order right now. And I'm putting that on my birthday wish list, apparently. Um, right behind the 360 camera that's like 300 bucks out there the rico one like i really kind of want to get my hands on that and play with just it. a little under the hoverboard just a little just <laughs> and that is all behind the hoverboard because <laughs> i have better health insurance and i'm okay going into the hospital um hey man we showed it earlier jim loke did fine on that thing he had somebody he had somebody holding his hand the entire like he literally had somebody holding his hand the entire way. <laughs> but but hey, hey if Loke can do it. If Loke can do it, I mean yeah. most of us yeah. here have seen him play yeah. softball. If Loke can do it, uh, yeah. I think we'll be just fine. Uh, but anyways, that's what he gets that's what he gets for being too busy for this Christmas special. <laughs> He'll be back. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him.